What's going on guys? So it's that time of the week. This one's actually going to be a little bit quicker than typically my weekly rotations are because I had some travel to Chicago this past week, meeting up with friends, and uh, I didn't wear out the shower fragrances for a few days because we were spraying so many different things. I didn't just wear something for the evening, you know what I mean? But uh, a couple of less than popular designers for the most part as far as mainstream appeal, and then several fantastic niche fragrances in this rotation that are pretty mass appealing for the most part. I'm gonna talk to you about them, so stay tuned. Starting off on Sunday, I actually, I, the story continues with this one where I love it more and more every time I spray it. That has not changed. Haven't wore it in a little while. Was in the mood for it. Figured why not. I went with Stronger With You Freeze from Emporio Armani. Not one that really gets talked about anymore. Probably the most easygoing and versatile of the bunch, to be completely honest. It's enjoyable. Yeah, it's got that bubblegum appeal, don't get me wrong, but... It's still got that nice spicy tone, more of a fresh spicy tone than a warm fragrance like the original. It's a fresher, more daytime appropriate version of the original DNA of Stronger With You. It's kind of the best way I can put it. Really enjoy this one. Above average performer. Not a beast, but definitely far from a weak fragrance. It's not really loud. It does settle closer to the skin pretty quickly within an hour and a half. I would say it starts to settle down pretty quickly, maybe into the two hour mark. And then it's a pretty mild, moderate to mild type of sillage for many hours. This falls in the six to eight hour category as far as longevity on my skin. And it's a solid fragrance that does not get any love. That's probably the most affordable of all of them. At least the last time I checked at the recording of this, I'm not sure, but a few months back, it was still the most affordable way to get a fragrance from this DNA. And honestly, it's the most easygoing and versatile of the bunch. So on Sunday, it was a nice and easy and enjoyable choice. Strong with you, Freeze. Moving into Monday, this is the Dark Horse in the Aqua de Gio line from Giorgio Armani. This is back-to-back -back days of different Armani line men's fragrances. But we're talking about Aqua de Gio Absolute Instinct. Like I said, Dark Horse. Absolute isn't really that popular and it's one of my favorite designer fragrances on the fresher side of things anyways and I think this is a very underappreciated flanker of a flanker because Absolute is already an Aqua de Gio flanker this is the flanker to that so it's darker it's got some seaweed added to it so it's a little bit more bitter and a bit more marine than even Aqua de Gio the original or Profondo or anything like that this is more you know ankle deep in the ocean type of smell and the ebony wood here provides a dark nature to it without it being I guess more evening wear appropriate it doesn't make it that type of dark it's one of those fragrances you have to smell to really completely understand what they were trying to do here I can see the vision they wanted something more authentic to more of a mysterious beach vibe type of scent that's what I gather from the scent profile I could be wrong here that's just my interpretation of how this worked out and it's actually quite enjoyable. It's an above average performer, just like the rest, majority of them in line. I can't say the rest because the original is not that strong of a performer. But it's above average, you know, another one. Six to eight hours, more in the eight hour range, really, of longevity. Projection solid for about two hours. And it smells great on my skin. I always thought this was a good one. I was excited when it came out. I'm still happy to have it. I don't wear it that often. One of the downsides to having so many fragrance options is a lot of good stuff will just sit and collect dust. And that's kind of been the case with this one. It was nice to pull this one out and literally dust off the bottle a little bit and give myself a few sprays because it was an absolute joy to wear. If you can get yourself a carded sample or a small decant, which I have seen them all over eBay, you can get carded samples. Try this one out. Just because you don't really hear anything about it doesn't mean that it's possibly not a great addition to your collection. If you don't try it on your own skin, you may never know. Maybe for you, maybe not. Got a sample to find out. So during the day, all day really, on Monday, Aqua de Joe, Absolute Instinct.
Moving into Tuesday, this was travel day. I decided to just roll with something easy that would maintain a very nice scent trail for hours into my travel to where my friends could still smell me when I ended up meeting up with them in Chicago. I went with Raja Parfum's Oligarch Parfum. Uh, this has been pulled from shelves a while back. Um, could be wrong, something to do with Russia or the name or something, I, I don't know. But hopefully they figure something out and put this one back on the market because when it first came out, my initial thoughts was this is good, but not as good as the EDP. And you know, right around that same time, I don't think I've worn the EDP, but maybe one time since. When I get in the mood for this DNA, I grab this fragrance. I mean, I, it's not a huge dent, but I mean, it's the juice. This is a lower juice level than the EDP bottle I have, both 50 mLs. Because I just reach for this when I'm in the mood for the scent profile. It's a lot of juniper. It's very dense, fruity, a little bit sweeter. Not as bright and fresh as the Eau de Parfum. This is beautiful. The sillage is magical. It's so easy going. It's so easy to like. This is one of the more mass appealing fragrances from the house. This can dress up, dress down, works in every season. It's fine in the high heat and it's got plenty of staying power and strength to the sillage to cut through the cold. It's just a wonderful fragrance. On Tuesday, with Raja Parfum's Oligarch Parfum. Moving into Wednesday. So I, I brought this with me. I wasn't sure if I was going to wear it. This was sent out to me by Steve at Kingdom Fragrances. He started carrying Electimus recently and was generous enough to reach out to me and ask me if I was interested in checking out a fragrance from them. So he sent me Auster from Electimus. And the thing that excited me the most about this fragrance was I went ahead and checked it out online and I saw the thing, the fragrance it's most notably similar to, according to people across the internet, is Bodacious Blue Sapphire. Shout out to my man Ogun from Equality Fragrances. He swears by that fragrance. He's got me convinced it's an amazing fragrance, and it was an overwhelming thumbs up versus thumbs down ratio on this being extremely similar to it. So I got excited about it. So when I got an opportunity to wear it, I went ahead and enjoyed it. The sillage is gorgeous. It's got this clove feel to it. If you don't like cloves, you probably won't like this. But the geranium here doesn't come across as an extremely minty, fresh type of geranium. It's more of a sweet type of feel to the geranium. The cloves definitely provide this warm, almost cumin-like kind of musky nature to the fragrance. A little touch animalic, but the blend in the quality is just next level here. It's top tier. This stuff is fan freaking tastic I did find this kind of strange, though. Brand new sealed in the box has this gash on it. I mean, it was factory sealed, so I just found that odd. And look, it has this marking. That's not for me. I found that odd. So a little bit of a quality control issue on this particular bottle. I'm pretty confident it's not the norm with Electimus. Uh, I do have black caviar finally coming in. Shout out to my man Ken. He's sending that my way. Ken sense on IG if you guys don't know who I'm talking about. This one I'm gonna spend some more time with, but I'm going to do a full review on this one. This is an extremely interesting scent that has that head-turning wow factor conversation starting type of appeal to the scent profile. Cause it's it's like very bossly, for lack of a better term. It smells expensive, it smells of luxury. It's not something most people have smelled before. You gotta really come across an enthusiast to potentially have smelled this scent profile before, whether it's Bodacia Blue Sapphire or Electimus Auster. This isn't just something that everybody's wearing. So I can appreciate it for its uniqueness and it doesn't come across as challenging to me. Those that are used to just wearing mass appealing fragrances all the time, I could see where it could be challenging, cloves, geranium. It's not your typical note breakdown, but damn it, this stuff is great. This stuff is great. I can tell you right now, just. In the first wearing of this, when I do a full review, I don't see it getting worse. I only see it potentially getting better. But this is going to be a very high mark above an 8. eight I don't even think it's going to be an 8. This is going to be an above 8 ranking in my, my rating system because this is fantastic. This is a show-stopping type of stuff. This is the kind of fragrance that will pull some attention. You're intentionally looking to have a conversation with somebody about what you're wearing if you wear this fragrance. It's that good in my opinion. During the day on Wednesday, Electimus Auster. Moving into Thursday, heading back that day was a late afternoon flight. I was able to hang with my friends a bit more, and uh, I just wanted easy going again. 
after wearing such a an interesting, intriguing, more enthusiast level fragrance the previous day, I wanted more laid back and overall mass appealing. So I went back to Raja Parfum's Oligarch Parfum. And look, I had a ton of fragrances with me. From bottles to decants, I had a lot of options. It's just, I don't know, when I had it on me and it's one of the, you know, couple handfuls of options, it's hard not to go back to because it's just so freaking enjoyable. That's why I say if in the event that you can get a decant from somebody decanting it, try it. It's worth experiencing. Hopefully, they can figure out whatever and get this juice, even if they got to rename it, whatever the hell they got to do, whatever the problem is, hopefully it gets solved and they get this fragrance back on the market because this is definitely one of the better Raja Parfums fragrances that I have tried personally. Obviously, I haven't even come close to trying all the offerings from the house. I have tried in the realm of 15 to 20 fragrances. I don't own 15 to 20, but I've tried in that realm from the house. I've experienced and... This is one of the most enjoyable for me because it's no secret I, more times than not, I like something easygoing and mass appealing. And this is that, but with the enthusiast twist from the quality and the blend. And it doesn't smell like everything else. Even though it's super enjoyable crowd pleaser, it doesn't smell like everything else. It smells like Oligarch. Again, during the day, Raja Parfums, Oligarch Parfum. Moving into Friday, this is one I have not spent time with in quite some time. Reason being, it's over. it overpowers my wife when I wear it. Like even just doing two, I've experimented with just two sprays and we get in the car and go somewhere, it overwhelms her in the car. So we weren't going to be hanging out together most of the day. Um, I had things I had to go out and do on my own. So I enjoyed this one myself. Amouage Enclave. Possibly my favorite mint fragrance. Still has olibanum, still has this beautiful vetiver note that's more woody than it is earthy. There's just so much, this beautiful smoky incense, all the Bantam nuance to it, as well as this gorgeous spearmint oil cardamom combo at the top of this fragrance. That is the best part. It's super strong. So strong that you can wear it year round, but the way the scent profile is done, even though it's so powerful, it still doesn't come across as too much or cloying in the middle of summer. I've worn this in Houston's high heat summer, and I've worn this in yeah, whatever you want to call the highest heat over here anyways, in Colorado Springs, which was in the 93 degree range, I think was what it was the day I wore this. Still pretty hot. Not scorching hot because the humidity's not through the roof, but works just fine. I ended up doing five, one, two, three, four, five, six, six sprays, the most I've ever sprayed it. Because I was kind of going out and about and doing my own thing. Surprisingly, didn't attract any attention. Nobody said anything to me. Because uh, I know people could smell me. Forgot exactly what all I had to do. But I was out and about around people. And I know they could smell me. Nobody said anything. I didn't get any compliments or anything like that. But I was sure enjoying the hell out of my sillage. If you haven't experienced this fragrance, this is one of the more easygoing scent profiles from Amouage. I don't find it to be that challenging. It doesn't have too strong of a Middle Eastern vibe. It's not heavily centered around oud and earthy tobaccos or this variety of dense dry spices. It's not in that realm. It's much more fresh and a little bit playful for Amouage to be honest with you. Beautiful fragrance. Beautiful. More on the casual side even though it's outrageously strong. Absolutely enjoyed rocking this one during the day. Amouage Enclave. Such an incredible fragrance. Then we got the shower. I rolled with Ferrari Radiant Bergamot. This is my tester bottle. I love spraying this one. It is green, zesty, juicy, a little fresh, spicy, like spicy green type of feel, but very, very fresh still. Lovely. Doesn't last. Maybe three hours on skin and then it's gone, but you can spray it heavy. You just respray and relive the magic of the top of this fragrance because the top of this fragrance is one of the better openings in my collection. I now have a partial backup bottle that doesn't have the air, air seal leak like this one. You saw I had to prime it just to spray it because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear this. Now, I've only had this bottle for, you know, 
not that long and I've really started to dent it more and more because when I do spray it, I spray it relatively heavy and I usually wear it a few days out of that particular week. Um, it's staying on the rotation table. Whenever I get in the mood to spray it, I spray it. It's kind of my favorite Ferrari fragrance at this point currently, even though I do have a few discontinued gems that I recently came into today at the recording of this video. Still absolutely love this stuff. Out the shower, Ferrari, Radiant Bergamot. <laughs> Finally on Saturday, haven't reached for this one in a little while. It's breezy, it's very, very airy. Smells like cutting citruses, orange, lemon, and stuff like that, and the smell that's out in the air. Not necessarily putting it on your skin, because it's light and breezy. It's a very breezy scent profile. It's Sole d'Italie from Mancera. Such a great fragrance. Not overwhelmingly powerful like some of the Mancera fragrances. For being one of their freshies, it's kind of what you would expect, where it's not quite a beast, but it's pretty long-lasting. Just not overwhelmingly powerful in the projection. And there's some pretty good sillage here, but the projection's not crazy heavy because it is a light aroma, but it lasts a long-ass time. So beautiful. Think fragrances like Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, for example but it doesn't smell just like that, but it has that vibe, that breezy, airy, summertime feel. This one dresses up a little bit. This is a nice collared shirt out in the summertime heat, going out and about during the day. Even something like this Under Armour golf shirt, for example, this fragrance pairs nicely with this type of attire, where it's casual, but it's not completely t-shirt casual, though it works fine with a t-shirt, but it can also dress up a little bit more on top of that. This isn't something I would reach for with a suit, even in the summer. Uh, this is something that I deem a little bit more casual, maybe as far as semi-casual, uh, semi-formal type of setting is probably as dressy as I personally would go with it, but you can do whatever you want with your fragrances. That's just what I deem it most appropriate for, for me personally. And uh, it's a beautiful fragrance that I'm very, very happy that I added to my collection. I've only worn it about a handful of times so far. Haven't had it for a long time. I did buy it this year, and I've been wearing it sparingly just from time to time. It was a lovely wear. Absolutely enjoyed this one. This is one I see myself reaching for more times than not from Mancera, even over Cedrat Boise probably, just because it's so easy going. So they died to leave from Mancera. And then I just took a shower a little while ago. I haven't sprayed my scent of the evening yet. I have chosen what it's going to be, and I think I'm going to roll with Mont Blanc Explorer. So I still had these fragrances out from my uh, cheap fragrances that smell much more expensive than their price tag. This fragrance was featured in that video, and I was getting them out the way to bring my rotation fragrances over here to where I set up for my videos. And when I was picking this up, I said, I, pull, I pulled all the caps on all of them, smelled them. I said, yeah, why the hell not? I'm going to wear this tonight. So this is not what I'm going to be wearing for the rest of the evening. So I'm not going to spray it on right now. But just know after the video, after I've changed shirts, I'm spraying Mont Blanc Explorer. No secret, extremely popular designer fragrance in the realm of Creed Aventus without smelling exactly like Creed Aventus. This is inspired by, not a copy of. Not, I wouldn't consider it a direct clone. It's definitely inspired by, uh, if you'd like to see the scale of how that ranks, my buddy Justin Copeland recently did a discussion about that that showed a graph that pretty much explains it perfectly to a T. And this falls in the inspired by category. Performance is solid. Definitely not a beast on my skin. I know a lot of people have told me they get fantastic, phenomenal, ridiculous performance with this. Let's get like five or six hours, which I'm cool with. Wife loves this one. That's the added bonus. My wife loves when I wear this one. She, anytime she smells it, she tells me, I wish you would wear this one more. So we're going to be watching a movie here in a little bit. I figure this will be kind of a snuggling, eating some popcorn type of scent for the evening. So out the shower on Saturday, rolling with Mont Blanc Explorer. Well, that was week number 141 of my weekly rotation. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. What did you wear this week? I love reading those comments. It's my favorite of the week. This is my favorite format. We've been going for 141 weeks strong at this point. Bordering, I want to say it's going to be in like beginning of December, end, end of November is when it'll hit three years, something like that. It's in the neighborhood. I could do the math real quick, but I'm not going to bother. But uh, we're rolling around the corner to three consistent years straight of this particular format, the weekly rotation. Um, like I said, it's my favorite to do every week. 
That way I get to discuss with you guys what I feel about what I chose to wear for the week. Um, literally not every single fragrance that was sprayed on my skin gets put in these rotation videos, especially a week like this because I sniffed so many fragrances, I'm surprised my nose hasn't fallen off this particular week. Uh, from doing all these blind smelling rate videos for my channel, on top of videos we did for Justin's channel, on top of videos we did for Andrea's channel, and so on. So we, we filmed a lot of content while we got together, and 75% of it, about 80% really, hasn't seen the light of day yet. It's going to come out over time between the three channels. So be on the lookout for all that content of us together. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the fragrances I wore this weekend, you give them a spray now. Pretty confident you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.